people, welcome back to the card reviews. Today we are looking at Divine Spark Dragon Stardust Cipher. Alright, so if you guys are wondering what this card is, it's uh, like, I don't know, like the Quasar version of Spark. <laughs> you know, it's another Quasar, I could definitely tell you that. You know, I don't read the, the manga, but I definitely know, you know, with its stats and its requirements, it's another Quasar. So we're going to go ahead and look at this card, and since it's another Quasar, guess who we're going to be comparing this card to? Oh yeah, yeah, Quasar. <laughs> so, uh, it is a Light Dragon Synchro Effect Monster, a level 12, 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. Its materials are one Tuner Synchro Monster and two or more non-Tuner Synchro Monsters. So, um, I'm not describing Quasar. This is not Quasar. It's, it, it's, it's just like Quasar, though. <laughs> like, I, I must be describing Quasar. That's everything that's for Quasar right now. Even to the stats, even to the T, everything is Quasar. So uh, let's read its effect and compare it to Quasar, of course. So this card must be Synchro Summon, cannot be special summoned by other ways, so just like Quasar, that's fine. So uh, its next effect is each card you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects once per turn. All right, so that's, that's I'm guessing that's a Spark-esque effect because it's like a Quasar version of Spark. So each one of your cards, including this, can't be destroyed by battle by card effects once per turn. So I gotta like hit you with Dark Hole and then hit you with Regeki or you know or MST your shit twice. You know that that's that's, that's not a bad effect. You know it's just it only protects from destruction. Yeah. All right. Next effect. Once per turn during either player's turn, when an opponent activates a monster effect, you can negate the activation if you destroy one card on the field. Hmm. Ah. Uh. So, just the monster effect, huh? Damn, that sucks. Quasar negates pretty much everything. Except for counter traps and spell three four cards. Uh, monsters, you know, when a card or effect is activated. Hmm. You know? If a card just negates, you know, that's like that's like trying to compare, like, you know, uh, Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare to freaking, you know, Cyber Dragon Infinity, you know? Yeah, that's nice. So, just when a monster effect is activated, you negate the activation and you can destroy one card on the field. So, can you destroy that monster? You know, it's activation if you destroy one card on the field. So yeah, it seems like by reading it, you can destroy that monster or one card on the field. Or uh, it's a man it's mandatory. You get the activation if you destroy a card on the field. So if your opponent doesn't have anything, and you know, well, I guess that you can destroy that monster. But you know, if push comes to shove, you can just destroy one of your own cards in this case. Uh, each one of your cards can't destroy a battle, but kind of like once per turn, so, yeah. Alright, so, you negate monster effects, awesome. Alright, and last effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one level 8 or lower Stardust monster in your graveyard spell to summon it, so. Um, I don't know any, um, other Stardust monsters that are level 8 or lower besides Stardust Dragon and Stardust Spark, so, I'm assuming that you're going to be summoning one of those. Um... This effect isn't mandatory, you could just do it whenever, so literally, you, this guy could be in your graveyard, then you summon Spark, they kill it. You can just be like, alright, banish, um, and summon Star of Spark, which hopefully you summon Star of Spark, because at least Star of Spark, you can use the effect without having to be, and uh, not having to worry about it being summoned properly, because of course you summon Star of Dragon, well, as soon as you get that in the game. You didn't get summoned properly this time, you're, you know, you're gone, so. Yeah, well I guess it depends on if you summoned it properly the first time. Yeah, if you summon this property the first time, you should be okay, because then it's like a call of the haunted or something. But if you didn't, yeah. So, that's it. That's it. So, final judgments of this card. I'd rather go for Quasar. 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 It's not Quasar. It's not as good as Quasar. Quasar's better. This isn't Quasar. No. Why would I ever go for this when Quasar is a card? That's, that, you know, that's how I feel about this card. Why? Why? I would rather go for Quasar. Like, oh, each one of your cards can't be destroyed by effects once per turn. Yeah, but Quasar can negate anything. Oh, once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect. Okay, that's fine. So, if as long as I get rid of you by not activating a monster effect and not destroying you, <laughs> then you're gone. You're fucked. You know? You summon fucking Quasar, I, and you go attack, and I go deprison, you go negate, and the attack goes through. You summon this, you go attack, I go deprison, the tears start running down your face as you would hit that admit defeat button because you probably used up reflex. I don't even care. I don't even care if I, you know, I went, oh, bam, made a quasar and I have soul charge and it's just like, hey, I can activate soul charge and then summon my material back and then I can go for another divine, but no. I'd rather go for another quasar. You know? 
It's like, oh, but then your cards can't be destroyed at all. That's so fucking awesome. You know, you fucking use all your fucking material. This is made using the exact same method as Quasar. So you're going to be burning through some materials. And your fucking Quasar, your fucking non-Quasar right here hits the board and I could pulse you. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> at least Quasar could negate that. but And Quasar can attack twice. So if it gets two direct attacks, then bam, that's game. That is 8,000. This card doesn't even attack twice. And then when Quasar is just removed from the field, period, I get to summon a shooting star. This... It has to be sent to the graveyard. So clearly, I must have sent it to the graveyard or something. You know? So, I must have destroyed it. Which, of course, which means that if I destroyed it and it's sent to the graveyard, not including the fact that you have your protection effect. So not only... So that pretty much means you have the sun field. I activated, like, Dark Hole or something. Then activated Regeki. You went to the graveyard because you were destroyed. Because generally, you probably wouldn't get rid of this. You clearly see this card is protected from being destruction twice you know pretty much like once and then you gotta destroy it again all your cards so why the fuck would i destroy it and send a barrier i would find some other way i would deep person you i would compulse you i would activate a monster effect to bait you and then castell you and not put you in the graveyard you know if i freaking castell quasar i'm getting shooting star if i castell this it's over you know i don't have to worry about your stardust you know and that's another thing too your effect is to Banish this card to target a Stardust monster in a graveyard and summon it. But the f interesting thing is that you generally don't use Stardust to summon cards like this in Quasar. You generally use a Formula Synchro, uh, uh, a Librarian, and some other level 5 Synchro monster, whether it be Armides or Cadastro or whatever. Correct? So, where is this level 8 Stardust monster in all this? I mean, I get that this can be played anytime in the duel, so... You know, if you summon this first and then later in the duel you summon like a Stardust or, you know, a Spark and then it gets killed, then you can banish it and summon it. But you don't use the Stardust or the Spark to make this. So, it kind of, unless you go Stardust, Spark, Formula, and then like a level 2 non-tuner Synchro monster. I can't even think of one right now. So, hello? You know, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Quasar, all the way. I'm I'm full on Team Quasar, and if I even ran a Synchro deck that could go into Quasar, I wouldn't even put this guy in there. I wouldn't even. I would put two Quasars over this any day. This card's cute, but nope. No, you hold no candle to Quasar. Quasar, when it hits the field, it wins games. This, it hits the field. <laughs> hey, you better hope and pray that your opponent doesn't have a D Prison or a Compulse, or you're probably gonna lose unless you have Soul Charge. You're probably gonna lose. You know, and even that, you know, nah, nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't think so. So, tell me what you guys think about Divine Spark, Dragon Stardust, uh, Cypher, like, maybe I'm just being too negative, but when you have a card that you could compare to it, to Quasar, when you try to compare this thing to Quasar, I can't even hold a candle, not even close, shit. If you summon this over Quasar, I will wipe a sweat off my brow, like, whew, at least he didn't go into Quasar. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow, hello. I, I'm not even thinking. I'll see you guys next week with some more card review. So uh, we got a couple of cards still to look at. You know, uh, Stardust got some new cards, and Topia got a new card, and you know, lots of things got new cards. So we're gonna go ahead and look at them. We have a ton of cards to look at for card review, and I hope you guys are enjoying. So uh, come back next week, and we will look at some more cards. All right, people, thanks for watching. Thank you.